We are inside of our 1946 Schult vintage camper trailer, 26, actually 26 and a half foot model according to the original title and registration and everything we have from the family. So they had purchased this one new and kept it in their barn in Vacaville for most of its life since uh, probably the 50s or maybe at the latest the early 60s anyways and you can see that this thing is in incredible condition you have those art deco shelves which i've never seen um, add a lot of style to the front and then a magazine rack there in the middle these are also all of the original mini blinds that you see here and they are in incredible usable vintage condition they're all i would i would hesitate to say very very good but uh i mean they're they're almost perfect so um really the whole trailer as we tour around it you'll see is just incredible the woodwork um we wiped it down with murphy's oil soap to get the dust off but that is all the restoration if you will that we've done to this is tried to clean it up real good and just show you how incredible the whole thing is. The tabletop um, obviously has seen some wear. It'll probably uh, sand out and be refinished, um, but it does have some stains on the top of it. Now what's cool about this is the way it folds up. So we'll see if I can capture this for you, but it's gonna fold right up and cover up those cabinets in that wall. Uh, really kind of neat, especially when you're traveling or just want to get it up out of the way. The leg swings up and it latches and there you have it. It's all put away and um, secured for traveling or just up out of the way to make the living room even bigger. That's uh, kind of one of the first decals you'll see in here and these are throughout the trailer from the period. These little decals. I'll point a few of them out to you as you see as we walk around. So that's the kind of the living space. There's no furniture in here. I'm sure it probably had a clip cut couch or maybe because of the, where the magazine rack is, um, maybe a couple of chairs up here or a couple of benches, just hard to say, but you could do anything you wanted with some uh, period stuffed chairs or something is what I picture. But um, anyways, there's a furnace here. Uh, I'm not real familiar with those. They're pretty early, but it's very clean and very complete. And then you see that pipe there in the wall. That draws air with a fan into the bedroom. And I'll show you where that all works when we get back there. But you can see here as we go through the arches, there's doors on the left and right sides. Those doors do operate. They slide together and you can close off the living area from the kitchen and the bedroom area. So. As we go back through here, these closets are just storage, a couple of drawers and a cabinet. And then you can see all of the neat variations in tones of wood. And we have seen this in other 40s trailers that we own. So uh, we believe this to be all original. This was just kind of something I don't know out of necessity or style or why, but uh, we have a couple other 48 trailers that have mixes of darks and light woods and different types of woods. Uh, since we're on the refrigerator there, yes, it works. You might even be able to hear it humming. Um, it gets cold real quick. It seems to work real good just as we've been out here cleaning the trailer. Looks like it might have had a gas light there or something that's missing. That's probably the only thing that hasn't been found or isn't still intact on this trailer. Um, there might have been a gas lamp or something there. This decorative cabinet above the fridge houses the compressor for the refrigerator. So you can see in there that's where the guts to the refrigerator are. So it's drilled and vented and then again the little decals. And that light, I won't point the camera at it, but that light over overhead this door is a fluorescent bulb. Just kind of show it to you there. That's also period correct for the 40s to have a fluorescent bulb. I always think of them as being more modern but not the case. This has a uh, fluorescent bulb there. You can see it's also got these vents, these chrome vents. There's one here in the living room, or I'm sorry, we're in the kitchen now. One in the living room and one in the bedroom. So these are just 
vents. This one has a fan. Honestly, I've not tried that. I don't know if that fan works. I would have to locate where the switch might be to tell you the truth, but this one, now that I think about it, does have a fan up in there. So, sorry, quick spin around on you, but just curious now where the switch for that might be. Yeah, I'll find it later. Anyways, we'll continue the tour here. These are the overhead cabinets above the kitchen sink. You can see they're immaculate. It's got these little shelves that flank it and this really cool vintage, I don't know if it's a Formica or a laminate. The countertops are stained. Um, probably something you'd want to put some Wilson Art laminates or something, find some re retro stuff and probably redo those. We have not plugged in the plumbing. I would assume that it needs new PEX lines and probably a new hot water heater just because I just don't trust old plumbing period. This is kind of cool though. This is what turns on your hot water heater. So they've got a switch right there that lights up and turns on and off your hot water heater. And check out the all of the plates in here. All of the electrical plates are all decorative like that. Very cool. As we come around here, um, it's got this old stove. Oh, that says Preway on it. I didn't realize that. I just just realized that that is a Preway stove. We see Preway stand-ups and stuff in the 50s stoves, but this obviously is a very early style stove. A um, little bit of uh, sexy patina there on top, but all in all, this thing is really in good shape. We haven't fired it up. We haven't hooked up gas to anything. Um, not sure if it works, but as far as a showpiece and cleanliness, it is really cool. Original, you know, stamping still on the switches and of course some um, added decorative decals. You can kind of see here across the whole kitchen all the stuff, but real decent shape. All right, so last but not least, another archway, another sliding door. So you can close the bedroom off there from the kitchen or from the living room. And got a nice full bed in here. Uh, mattress box spring setup. Um, probably a full size. I'm, yeah, I don't think that's a queen. Um, you've got a little dressing table. Uh, desk over there and I'll show you more about that here in just a second but uh, back door so you've got an escape route little knick-knack shelf this uh, little mirror here just kind of swings so you can use it at the dressing table or however you want and then it also swings back away and can be stashed there against the wall and then you've got another little medicine type cabinet here deep medicine cabinet but again the mini blinds in here all of the mini blinds are incredible all of the windows are in good condition one has a crack right down the center and you can hardly see it I almost missed it because it's right on the the bar that uh, actuates the windows opening and um, I almost missed it the crack is hard to tell it's there but one of the windows does have a crack right down the middle and one of the window latches is missing one little button piece that helps hold it shut. So I've got it zip tied at the moment. But other than that, the window hardware and everything uh, is all intact. Here's another stand up um, dresser, I guess you'd call that. So um, you can put stuff on top, but then it's also all the way to the bottom. There's a cabinet and a stand up dresser that's at the foot of the bed. And then there's that decorative cowboy print again, just kind of a wall hanging that covers the door when it's all the way open um, that way. And then another closet here with uh, shelving. And you could certainly do shelving or put in um, hanging cabinetry there. I almost forgot to show you is right down here is a little vent and it's got a little tin housing over it with a decal on it. And then if you come up here, 
there's a little switch pull that on and it runs the fan that draws from the uh, heater and blows out here into the bedroom and it runs that little fan vent. This uh, table here that I showed you that they've got covered with that cowboy material actually isn't just a table standing in the corner it's another complete built-in uh, desk if you will and we have not had the top off because they've got it covered but the rest of it's in incredible condition looks like it's been covered for some time sometime. lots of little storage in through here neat little piece um, I'd probably uncover it I just thought it was kind of cute with the cowboy stuff on it so we left it the way it was but that probably needs to be uncovered and put back to original so that's about it um, the floors you're probably gonna want to put four bow marmoleum flooring in here um, you know there's lots of good spots there's lots of not so good spots you could get by with some big throw rugs. You can see right there in the center, it's pretty compromised. Then around the edges, it's not so bad. But honestly, the investment in some new Forbo marmoleum flooring that looks just like the vintage stuff would be a good way to go. And I would also, you know, myself just replace the plumbing. There's not much of it. There's a sink and a hot water heater. And at that time, I would use some Wilson art and put down some nice... Uh, complimentary vintage looking Wilson art uh, laminates on the counters and just you know to me that's really about what this trailer needs and just keep it the original incredible preserved beauty that she is so anyways thanks for looking uh, she's really something we're in Sacramento if you want to come see her just give us a call and thanks for watching We'll talk to you later. Bye.